Hello friends, in the last lesson we learned how to solve a pair of linear equation by drawing graph of both the equations. This lesson we will learn more about it. Remember in our previous lesson we saw how to use the graphical method of solving a pair of linear equations. We drew graph for both the linear equations and the intersection point gave us the solution for that pair. But does that mean if we take any two linear equations, their graphs will intersect at some point? Not necessary. Let's study one such case. We have two linear equations here, x plus 2y minus 4 equal to 0 and x plus 2y minus 6 equal to 0. Let us simplify the first equation. x plus 2y minus 4 equal to 0 or 2y equal to 4 minus x or y equal to 4 minus x by 2 and for the second equation x plus 2y minus 6 equal to 0 or 2y equal to 6 minus x or y equal to 6 minus x by 2. Now we take some coordinates for the first equation when x equal to 0 y will be equal to 4 minus 0 by 2 which is equal to 4 by 2 that is 2 and when x equal to 1 or 2 or 3 they are not a correct choice because 4 minus x would be indivisible by 2 means we will get y as fraction which makes it little harder to plot. So we take x equal to 4 so we will get y equal to 4 minus 4 by 2 which is equal to 0 by 2 that is 0. Same way for the second equation if we take x equal to 0 y is equal to 3 we get and if we take x equal to 2, y is equal to 6 minus 2 by 2 which is equal to 4 by 2 that is equal to 2. To represent the equations graphically, we plot the points. We plot 0, 2 and 4, 0 for the first equation. Then connect them to make the graph for equation 1. Now we plot 0, 3 and 2, 2 for the second equation. Then connect them to make the graph for equation 2. What do you notice? Oops, they both are parallel lines. They would never intersect. Means they don't have a common point or a common solution. So this pair of linear equation does not have a common solution that is one value of x and y does not satisfy both the equations. So exactly how to know which two linear graphs will intersect or not? We take the example from the previous lesson where the graph of the two equations intersected. The two equations were x plus 3y equal to 6 and 2x minus 3y equal to 12. Now the two linear equations can be represented as a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0 where a1 b1 are coefficients of the first equation and a2 b2 are the coefficients of the second equation. If we compare the coefficients of the two equations here a1 by a2 will be equal to 1 by 2 and b1 by b2 will be equal to 3 by minus 3 which is equal to minus 1. So we can easily say a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. And if that is true for any pair of linear equations then the graphs intersect. And we can find before drawing the graphs itself. Graphs intersects means that pair of linear equations have a common solution. Now we take the case of parallel linear graph which we drew in this video. Here the equations were x plus 2y minus 4 equal to 0 and x plus 2y minus 6 equal to 0. Here a1 by a2 which is equal to 1 by 1 that is 1 and b1 by b2 is equal to 2 by 2 is equal to 1 which means a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 is equal to minus 4 by minus 6 which is equal to 2 by 3 
and it is not equal to a1 by a2 nor b1 by b2 and if this condition a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2 is true for any pair of linear equations then the graphs don't intersect graphs don't intersect means they are parallel means the pair of linear equations don't have a common solution so just look at the coefficients if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 then the graphs of the two linear equations will intersect that point is the common solution of the linear equation if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2 then the graphs of the two linear equations will be parallel that is they will not intersect and there is no common solutions of these linear equations but what if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 like in this example 2x plus 3y minus 9 equal to 0 and 4x plus 6y minus 18 equal to 0 here a1 by a2 is equal to 2 by 4 which is equal to 1 by 2 b1 by b2 is equal to 3 by 6 which is equal to 1 by 2 again and c1 by c2 is equal to 9 minus 9 by minus 18 which is equal to 1 by 2 again if you look closely both the equations are same if we multiply the first equation by 2 we get a second one so second equation is an equivalent form of the first equation so their graphs will be same in other words their graph will coincide that is both the lines are on top of each other one may be longer one may be shorter but they are together so all the common points of the two graphs will be the common solution of this pair of linear equations to revise given two linear equations of form a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0 if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 then their graphs intersect at a common point which will be a unique solution of both the equations if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 and not equal to c1 by c2 then their graphs don't intersect they remain parallel which means there is no unique solution of both the equations and if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 then their graphs coincide they remain on top of each other means there are multiple unique solutions of both the equations infinite unique solutions equal to the common part of the graph so that's all in this video bye bye